Good morning, everyone. It is our discipleship review. Myself, my brother Richard. Um, let me just start off by saying, um, if you weren't with us Saturday, um, you missed out. And we hope that you will join us next Saturday. Um, this review really is just to kind of yeah, entice you to join us on Saturday. We're not trying to make you think this is all that happened because it's not. This is just a, a few crumbs from Saturday. <laughs> if you want the whole meal, you should, you should come on Saturday. But um, this Saturday, we talked about Ezekiel chapter 28, verses 11 through 19. Um, and also verses 25 and 26. Um, the subject of that discussion was warns, God warns. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll start off. Um, the, the one thing I just kind of wanted to share is the blessing of being warned. How when God is warning us about something, it's because he doesn't, he knows what he's warning us about is bad for us. It's not going to end well. It's not going to end the way we think it's going to end. And many times I was having a, a long conversation with my dad yesterday. Many times we just in our mind think God is wrong on this one. I don't know what this one is in your life or has been in your life, but I I feel pretty confident that all of us have had something where we just thought, I know what God thinks about this, but I think it's going to work out. I think there's nothing wrong with me pursuing this. And God is going, it's not going to be what you think it's going to be. It's not good for you. Like that's not healthy. That's not right. You're going to, you're going to hurt yourself. And we're like, God, look, I've been here 44 years. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not a baby. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> God, God has to just be sitting on his throne, like. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe you just really oh, so you you all grown. Huh? Okay, all right. <laughs> like, and ultimately he's gonna be proven right. He's gonna be proven right. There is I've said it before on uh you know, in, in regards to this, there were so many years I thought my dad did not know what he was talking about, only to discover. He knew exactly what he was talking about. And if I had listened, I could have avoided, you know, certain mistakes. I could have avoided certain setbacks if I would have just listened. But I didn't think he knew what he was talking about. So, yeah, there is a blessing to being warned. God isn't just talking just to talk. He's not trying to nag us, not trying to scare us. He just, there's certain things in life we can avoid if we would just listen to the word. So. All right. So when I was looking at this lesson, uh, one of the things I was looking at was the king of Tyree. Um, he said he had a claim to divine status. And it was all based on like his wisdom and his wealth. All right, his wisdom given to him by God, um, his wealth also, God allowed him to have it, um, being the king of a very popular trading city where everybody kind of came through the trade and that allowed him to become you know, rich and wealthy and gain some status. But he took that status and basically elevated it and gave himself <laughs> basically a seat on the throne. Like he, he placed, he took himself from king and moved himself up to God, like basically the highest status. There's nothing else higher than trying to be a God. That's where he moved himself up into. And the problem with that is Proverbs warns us of pride and where that leads to and placing ourselves in higher positions, thinking of 
uh, higher than, you know, looking at ourselves higher than what we really are. Um, Proverbs tells us of a great fall, right? So the higher we place ourselves up, the longer that fall is going to be. And to place yourself as a God, as, a, as in a throne, that fall down is going to be pretty, pretty far. And God gives Ezekiel um, the message to tell him, like, you're going to be buried in a pit. Um, you're not even going to be like in a grave. Like you're going to be in a pit. That's that's where your your destination is going to be uh, for placing yourself and, and looking at looking at yourself and even acting like a God. Like it's not like he just said it and, you know, nobody took it to heart, but he really started to believe and act like he was a God. Um, and that just can't happen. Like we have to be careful about how we look at things. We have to be careful about God giving us things and then we forget who gave it to us and we start to think that we created it we own it and we can do what we want with it um like it it's uh as a business manager like you don't own the company like you're managing it but you don't own it you can't do whatever you want to do um and so i think that sometimes we're in we're in a manager position where we're managing everything that god has given us all the gifts all the blessings and then somehow we become CEO overnight, um, <laughs> like without God's permission, like we just become CEO. And that that's kind of what we see. Like he was managing the the, the city, a Tyree doing all the trading and became really wealthy. But then they started to um, become arrogant, become powerful, started to become greedy and wanted more and more and more, started doing things they shouldn't have been doing which led them to this complex and led them to, to placing himself in this high position. And so kind of like you say, there, there is a blessing in the warning. Um, and, and especially in this case, but it, we just have to be careful about how we're looking at ourselves um, based off of the things that God has, has given us and blessed us with. So, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I think, um, just as a disciple, as believers, we should be, our ears should be open to what God is saying. And if you really look at the book of Ezekiel, God is speaking to, to everyone. He's speaking to the Jews. He's speaking to, you know, these other nations, the other kings. He's, he's trying to get their attention. He's trying to let them know, um, or he's trying to let them know, but he's telling them what's going to happen. He, and he's not guessing. God isn't going, hey, I think if you don't, like, here's what's going to happen. Like, repent. Like, use this opportunity to change and do something else. Because if you continue to do what you're doing, here's what's going to happen. And so, yeah, it's just, you know, that's that's what we read about. Like this, this whole, Ezekiel's whole ministry was, here's what God is trying to get you to see. And I don't yeah. think, you know, that ministry is dead and gone. Like even today, like we have pastors and preachers trying to let us know, Here's what God is saying to you. God is warning you about this. He wants yeah. you to improve on this. Um, he wants you to know this. So, yeah, but it's on us to hear. Like, if we don't want to hear it, if we think, he don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, he's he just a man like me. He don't know. I know he's saying God said, but he don't know. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, yeah, um, again, hope you'll join us next week. We are looking at probably the most famous um, chapter in the book of Ezekiel, um, Ezekiel 37, verses 1 through 14. That is the message about the dry bones, the valley of dry bones. And Ezekiel um, is going to be given this vision about 
a valley of dry bones. So we'll hope you'll join us, join the conversation. Uh, you see the information on the screen. We will see you Saturday if God says the same. Anything else, Rich? That is all. That's all. All right. Have a great rest of your Monday.